This is Patch Breakdown for August 3rd, 2016's Content Patch. We've got a lot of exciting new features being added to the game, so let's break it down. The character selection screen has been revamped to provide a more streamlined look and detailed information. Character attribute graphs have been added in order to show character type, strengths, and weaknesses. Taking Audrey as an example, she has a high value for range, but low defense due to being a ranged projectile character. You also have values for how difficult it is to play the character and the amount of utility that character brings to the battlefield. Each character also excels in his or her own specific stat. Ours is pretty overpowered in cuteness. A new random buff system is available only for story mode missions. Defeating monsters will activate and fill up the Vega system slots. When one slot is filled, the buff icon will appear. Activate three of the same icons in a row and you'll acquire a free buff. Five different buffs are available in the Vegas system, with each buff enhancing your gameplay with various benefits. Third World Extreme Difficulty has been revamped. Extreme Difficulty requires a minimum depth requirement of 210 and an entrance requirement item named Diver Code. Diver Codes can be acquired by defeating divers in Liberation Mode, Normal or Hard. New 150 depth equipment is available in this mode along with new wonder equipment and wonder sidekicks. A new equipment upgrade system is now available. Head on over to Yabo to access it. In order to use the item transformation system, your equipment must be at least plus 10 and also have 100% experience acquired. You can now earn experience on items by leveling up or gaining experience. Transforming requires specific materials and pennies. You can get these materials from clearing liberation or doing third world extreme difficulty mode. Transforming equipment provides two benefits. You can level up your weapon to plus 15 and you can add an additional skill option. Mary has received a couple of buffs. Compared to other characters, Mary's skill cooldowns were a bit too long and also her damage was a bit subpar compared to the length of her skill animations. In order to improve Mary's gameplay, we've adjusted the following. Cooldowns for most of her skills have been lowered, damage has increased for some of her skills, and certain skills have received additional functions to deal additional damage when fighting a boss, champion, or mutant monsters. We're also reviewing other characters as well and plan to make balance adjustments in the future. You can view more detailed balance information on the website and forums. Don't forget to go in-game to check out all the new content and events. 